Let's go. So we just arrived in Labuan Bajo, just got out of the airport. Uh, it was a super smooth, very, very short flight, although it did get delayed. But apparently that's very common here. So nothing to worry about. I just chilled at the airport, finished up some work. And now I just met NZ. Hi. Uh, what's the company called again? So uh, my company name is Nuchalale Komodo Trip. Yeah. Yes, and operating the Komodo trip. So yeah, yes. and we're going to be going on a on two a boat day, trip. Yeah. Two days, one night. One trip. night trip on the boat tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and we're super excited. And she's come to pick me up here. We're gonna go to the hostel. Maybe do a maybe do a hike in the evening. Not yes. sure. Yes. Yeah. But we will go by motorbike. Is motorbike. Okay? Yeah, of course. That's okay. <laughs> Perfectly fine. got to my hostel here it's called la bohemia super budget friendly nice let's go so nz and i are off to watch the sunset what's the spot called nz sylvia hill sylvia hill yes. so we're so going to watch the sunset in sylvia hill i've hopped on to a scooter 15 minutes just here. 15 minutes yeah. perfect let's catch let's the sunset, catch the sunset. Okay, so we're gonna quickly climb up this hill, run up actually, so that we don't miss the sunset. Yeah, let's go. It's incredible. I really like the city. It's beautiful. That's where our ferry leaves from tomorrow and there are hills everywhere, so I can see people just watching the sunset. Is this a thing here, Enzi? Like people just coming out in the evening, watching a sunset? Yes, like the most of the people came here for a sunset. Yeah. The sunrise is beautiful though, but I think Lebanon by the people doesn't like to wake up early. Early? <laughs> they like to wake up late. Yes. Okay, like the most of the world, I guess. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. and I were just talking and I was asking her um, whether you know she has a lot of friends and family from her yes. uh, village over here and yeah you can continue the conversation yes so I'm 24 guys and so most of my like all of them like the girl are getting already getting married and have a baby wow and so now here I am I don't even think to get married <laughs> and yeah and that's so cool because I mean in India as well although like I said that not everyone's thinking about marriage but my mom got married when she was um 22 and yes, had my mom got married when he was she was 18 oh my yes, god and she yeah. got the first baby when she was 19 like almost 20 wow yeah can you imagine yes <laughs> and how like I don't know how she did it yeah. but yeah it's the I culture no, it's the culture yeah. yeah but me like I'm telling you that marriage is not good not, <laughs> that's I agree. not good I idea agree. Yeah. firstly a lot of women just have been getting married because it's, it means that oh you need a man yes. to live but your life I'm telling you you don't need a man you need yourself you need yourself yes, you, you need, need to yourself. love yourself yes. first because the most of girls like uh, they are married to find the happiness yeah. but the true the happiness is come from yourself yeah you don't need anyone no friends no even a man or no anyone is come from yourself Self, yeah, yeah. First, you need to find happiness in yourself. Yes. And yeah, I really love that you said that one of the biggest reasons why you kind of are, you know, don't think that way anymore is because you've been meeting people from all yes. over the world. So I'm meeting like a different people, like thousands of people from the different world, like coming from like, you know, any country, many country. And then it gives me a fact, you know, like I think in a different way that the merit you don't need to. Yeah. You know, so now I'm just enjoying my life and then if I can afford to travel because I love to travel, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so far I'm really happy and I'm grateful like with who I am yeah. right now. Yeah. And then yeah, if I compare to my friend, like I'm the luckiest one yeah. in the world. Oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> I think for me as well, you know, uh when I was in um university, yeah, I remember I used to think, Oh my god, how is it possible to travel? Yes. And like it won't be possible for me, I'm just gonna be in a job and stuff. And then I remember that I I was traveling somewhere in India just mm -hmm. for a short three day trip and I met 
two people who were and I met them and they'd come all the way from America yes. to India and I asked them that oh how old are you I was like oh so you maybe are working back home mm-hmm. and they tell me that they're 18 yeah, and they were they, they were younger than yes. me and I was just like what you're yeah. 18 and you're in India and I think that's when I realized that the world is so much beyond what i know yes. and you can do things exactly. if you want to exactly everything is possible in this world yeah, yeah if you can, if, if you, you want it yeah if you want it yeah you, want it and get it you yeah. are yeah and i when i was uh, like 19 and 20 like i don't know like how my life is bring me yeah and uh like i never think i'm gonna go out from forest yeah. but like you know i'm really lucky i went like for traveling like visit a uh, few places in indonesia wow yes that's amazing and uh, so i think I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna traveling more. That's my yeah, dream. That's yeah. my goal. I'm so happy. Yeah. And But the you're... first thing, I wanna make my family happy. And I'm telling you, I came from the poor family. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a rich one. Yeah. And then I. But you know, I didn't went to university like a good one because I can't afford that. Yeah. But right now, I'm I'm really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> and. I hope that someday I see you in India and yes, I can take you around in India course. then. <laughs> I love India, the yeah. food and the culture. Yeah. And that to be honest, I love to travel to see the black people. Like mm. my dream to go to Africa. This mm. is my first dream. Like wow. first place I want to wow. go is in Africa. Perfect. Yeah. Leave a comment and let's see we can if Enzi goes to Africa yeah, soon. Sure. Enzi in Africa. <laughs> wish me yeah. luck. Yeah, wish her luck. <laughs>
Do you think we will? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Two hundred. Everyone's waiting to see some bats. <laughs> Flying foxes. Flying foxes. Hey guys, after a very very long day where it feels like I've done a lot, yet I've not done much. You know, it's a very confusing thing. But I think we were out in the sun, swimming, did a short walk. All of that added together, and eaten so much food. It just feels like it's been so tiring. This is, by the way, my little bedroom in the boat. Um, it's pretty cute, and I'm um, yeah, I'm quite tired. Feeling very grateful for everything that I've seen today, uh, the people that I've met. Um, it's just, it's amazing to meet like so many people. We all exchange stories, um, exchanged our love for traveling. Um, there's someone here who's from Germany who's traveled over thirty countries, and he's twenty one, which is crazy. and um yeah it's just so nice to kind of bond over the love for travel um things in common and meeting new people and feeling like you know you've kind of made that connection for life and um yeah spending more than 24 hours on a boat together so that's pretty cool and i would highly recommend this experience because i came here as a solo traveler and honestly there's no one on this boat who's traveling solo everyone is either with their partners um the german guy is with his mom so everyone is with someone or the other but i'm solo but i still feel very well connected i did feel this morning that oh, okay it would have been nice if i had someone with me but to be honest i think as the day progressed just also just chilling by myself for a bit and then talking to everyone it just became very easy and very organic and um i ended up making nice friends and it's been really fun um i loved watching the flying foxes go above me oh my god it was incredible to see thousands of just imagine this is just then a regular day in the life of a flying fox and all of us were sitting down there looking up, up and the, 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 the sunset was beautiful they were like <sighs> the world is it's crazy it's just wild and we're here to see it together right that's it from me Good night and see you tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone from a brand fresh new day in uh, the Komodo Islands. Today we were very rudely woken up at 4:30 a.m. with someone shouting sunrise 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 um, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. So we're going to go on a sunrise hike. Oh my god, I'm very sleepy. <laughs> Even though do you know what time I slept last night? 9:30. Yeah. But I'm still very sleepy. I think it's just your brain that thinks, "Oh my God, how can you wake up at 4:30?" Let's go. Are you guys excited at 5 a.m.? Yeah, very excited. Yeah. 500 steps. 500? 800. 800 steps. So currently we're hiking our way, uh, not hiking, climbing upstairs <laughs> to Padar Island. I mean, we are on Padar Island, and we're going to the. Sunrise viewpoint up here, so there are about 800 steps you need to climb, and that's what we're doing at 5 a.m. But I'm sure it'd be worth it. So, let's go. We finally made it to the Padar Island. The sun is out. I mean. It's bright and daylight now, and oh my god, this is probably one of the most beautiful things. <sighs> and the viewpoint is crazy, like nothing like I've ever seen before. Totally worth it to wake up at 4:30 a.m. and come here. Hundred and one percent. The black beach. There's the pink beach, and there is the white beach. The pink beach actually is pink. It's insane. And now the next uh, stop would probably be us going to Pink Beach, and it's honestly crazy because from the top the beach was actually pink, and it's uh, basically because of like the corals breaking, and that's spread across the entire beach. And I think there are only seven beaches, pink beaches in the entire world. I might be wrong on that number, but I think that's what it is. 
and one of them is here and we're gonna go there and I'm very excited about it so yeah I like pink <laughs> and I don't know if it's a Wednesday today otherwise I could have said on Wednesdays we wear pink and we go to the pink beach that was lame I know sorry National Park that's right behind me. I took a very long nap in the in the boat just on the deck and uh, now I'm feeling fresh again. Uh, so basically the Komodo dragons are one of the closest species to what our OG dragons used to be like and they only exist here in this part of Indonesia on the Komodo National Park which is why obviously this part is called Komodo National Park and the dragons are called the Komodo dragons and it's so cool that we're going to get to see such a rare species today I hope we get to see them because apparently right now it's mating season so there's also a chance that we might not see any Komodo dragons at all which would suck a little bit because they're so cool and they're massive they're huge apparently they weigh up to 90 to 100 kgs and uh, imagine a lizard that big oh, wow it's like I mean like I said close to a what a dragon could have been like so that's pretty cool so yeah i'm very excited to get in there uh, we're all here together as the group and we're going to go and try to spot some dragons so let's go and male one can get up to 50 to 60 years old okay while female just only on 25 to 30 years old so different age that's important on the side Usually the male has a big size, a yeah, big body, long tail, okay. long shape of the head also. Okay. Yeah, while the female one, yeah, short tail, yeah, behind of the male. And um, does it get bigger than this, or is this the largest? Uh, this is a medium. Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh, it gets bitter, grow, bigger. A bit more. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And how much does it weigh approximately? The weight of this, you know? Uh, approximately just like uh, 70 kilograms. <laughs> So the guide was just telling us that yesterday they didn't see any dragons and today we've seen not one, not two, but three dragons now. Yes. And this one is again a male and he's 15 years old. So, wow. Same three Komodo in mating season, that's not normal. Oh, wow. Why it's the same? This is so basically right now it's mating season for the Komodo dragons which is why it's not very normal for us to see any at all because male to female ratio between the dragons is 1 is to 3 which is why it's super rare to spot any dragons at all but it's so cool that we've already seen 3 and this one's like right here. We're now at our next spot which is the Pink Beach although I'm a bit confused because the one that I saw in the morning from top actually looked pink like from the top which is crazy. Oh my god. Look at that. It's actually pink. Think Caesar has learned at business school and is now teaching everyone. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Caesar, do it one more time. Very soon. And then you're gonna show me around? 100%? Yes. Perfect. Maybe we'll be okay. I don't want it to come back home.